Gopri. Saya cina di kunci saja. Saya cina tolong Gopri. Anu kucing sa? Gak aku kembali. Father, um, may pagtatapat lang sana ako, Father. Ano po yun, anak? Kapag sa aking nagawang kasalanan. Uh, sige, anak, sumunod ko ito. Sige po, Father. Ano ba yung pagtatapat po sa akin, anak? Um, pagtatarad ko lang sana, Father, na meron ako ang na napatay. Hindi ko po na natigilan ang ating sarili. Father, kaya mo ba kung matawarin ang ating Diyos? Ang Diyos, ang ating Ama, ay handa magpatawad sa atin sapagkat tayo ay ganyang anak. Ito lang yung dapat matandaan. Ang Diyos na kapag papatawad. Dapat, kung ano man ang nagawa mong mali, ay dapat magsisigat. Hindi mo na dapat magsisigat. Salamat, Father, sa yung puso-puso mo kayo hiling sa akin. Sinabi sa iyo. Walang yun na nagkakawag na kami. Nakahuli na ang suspensado sa pamaril sa isang tricycle driver. Please all rise. Okay, let's proceed to the first witness. Okay, raise your right hand. Do you swear that you will tell us the truth and nothing but the truth? I swear. Uh, did you know the suspect? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, did the confession happen inside the chapel, Father? Yes, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, in behalf of my client, the presented witness are not qualified uh, to testify uh, based under the Rule 130. In this scenario, we can see that the Rule 130, Section 24, Paragraph D applies. Under the rules, it says that, first, there must be relationship of priest and penitent. Second, 
there must be confession or advice given thereon by the priest to penitent. And last, the confession must have been made in the course of the discipline enjoined by the church to which the priest or religious belongs. Therefore, the priests in the scenario are not qualified to testify as a witness 